So I was talking with my friend at the gym this morning. She was mentioning how houses in her neighborhood were listed for sale, but didn't seem to be selling. I've noticed the same thing too. What's going on? All right, this video is gonna be short and quick and hopefully helpful. We're gonna look at two things. We're gonna look at anecdotal evidence and data. All right, so anecdotally, houses are taking longer to sell. You've probably noticed this. You see a for sale sign. Next day, when you drive past, you expect to see a sold sign on it. It sits there for a week, for two weeks, for a month, for two months. What is going on is the seasons have changed, interest rates have gone up, and there aren't as many buyers out in the fall, the new season, as there were in the spring. And I know it doesn't feel like fall right now in Iowa. It's like 500 freaking degrees outside every single day. But seasons have changed. Kids are back in school. Buying activity has slowed down. However, I don't want you to think that it's not a seller's market anymore. There is still a huge supply and demand imbalance. Even though mortgage rates have gone up, people's buying power has decreased, and there's less demand for houses and for mortgages, there are still people who need homes. There should be more homes available for people to buy than there are. Anytime you have low supply and high demand, that causes prices to stay where they're at. All right, and we'll look at this data too. There have been, in the last seven days in central Iowa, 274 new homes listed for sale. There have been 319 put under contract and 376 sold. That's what we want to see to keep this seller's market going, is we want this pending and sold number to continue to outpace the new listings number. And that is what I think we are going to continue to see as inventory does not get any better. If you own a house right now, chances are you have a 3%, 4% interest rate. There's no sense in you moving unless you absolutely have to and getting a 7.2% interest rate. That is going to keep real estate locked down as a very secure asset. If you have a home right now and you've been thinking about selling in the next couple of years, don't be worried that you missed your shot. You still have a shot. Seasonality has an effect. Mortgage rates have effect. Those things change pretty frequently. One of them, at least four times a year. That would be the season. Bad joke. Anyways, what I'm saying is, is if you have a house that you have taken care of well, that has been somewhat updated, or you're willing to price it where it needs to be if it hasn't been updated. So if you're realistic on the price that you can get out of your home, and if you have a realtor who knows what they're doing in terms of marketing it and putting the house's best foot forward, we can say, getting it out there to most people negotiating for you, you are not going to have any issues selling your home compared to what we would consider normal before COVID. It might take a little longer than 24 hours. That was very abnormal, but it is still a seller's market. You are still going to come out on top with the benefit of home ownership that you bought your house thinking you would obtain, which is an increase in equity and wealth. If you have any questions about this at all, please let me know. If this wasn't clear, please leave me some feedback. I want to be helpful and help you to understand and make sense of the housing market in the midst of all the catchy headlines and incorrect information being put out there by everyone. Um, and then if there's anything I can do for you, whether it's for a home sale, a home purchase, or if you just have a question about the real estate process, give me a call. Uh, lastly, if you could like and subscribe, that would be wonderful. That way I can continue to help more people like yourself. Thank you.